pheasant shooting took on a new format in the 1860s when the gentlemen guns, who up till then had pursued their game on foot, as in walked up shooting, fell on the admirable idea of placing themselves at the far end of a drive whilst the estate workers did the walking, driving the pheasants towards the guns. By the 1900s, the sport of shooting the driven bird had been adopted by many of the great estates into becoming the main social occupation during the winter season. The finer points in the techniques of driven pheasant were developed by the individual estates and still exist today. It didn't take long before the quantity of birds being reared on some of the estates was reaching fairly large numbers and consequently the day's bag, by today's standards, a little excessive. One such instance was the bag shot on the Hall Barn Estate in December 1913 with a record count of 3,937 pheasants shot. Among the guns on that record day were King George V and the Prince of Wales. To take us through the development of the shotgun over the years, we now meet Jason Abbott, who is a very highly respected game shot and a recognised expert on shotguns. Just bringing in a piece of kale over towards us <coughs> before the start of the main drive. And as soon as they get to the top, <coughs> they will become stops and the main line of beaters will push the kale uphill and we hope the pheasants will come back this way. today so I'm supposed to be back gun <coughs> unless there's a big flush I probably won't get very much here a lot of um, big shoots is the birds become very domesticated with this feeding them out in the mornings and back at night and they become rather zombified and have their sort of set route that they fly as we just feed these once a day and they become much wilder like that one. Nice shot though.
Shooting down. Change this back in the back. Yeah, 